Welcome, my dear friend. I am David Cortez, and this is my website www.david-cortez.com. In this video, I'm going to talk about the momentum. So let's start. Momentum is a fundamental concept in physics that describes the quantity of motion of an object. So it's very important, describes the quantity of motion of an object. It is a vector quantity, meaning it has both magnitude and direction magnitude and direction and is a product of an object's mass and its velocity. In mathematical terms momentum P is expressed as P equals M times V where M is the mass of the object and V is its velocity. Understanding momentum mass this is a measure of the amount of matter in an object typically measured in kilograms or grams the greater the mass the more momentum an object can have velocity this is the speed of the object in a specific direction velocity is a vector velocity is a vector which means it has both magnitude and direction. Magnitude expresses how fast the object is moving. Direction expresses where the object is going. Vector nature. Since momentum is a product of mass that is a scalar, mass that is a scalar, and velocity that is a vector, it is itself a vector. This means the momentum of an object is not just about how much motion it has, but also in which direction this motion is occurring. Conservation of momentum. The principle of conservation of momentum states that if no external forces act on a system, the total momentum of the system remains constant, so it's very important. If no external forces act on a system, the total momentum of the system remains constant. Uh, it is the principle of conservation of momentum. This is a fundamental law of physics and is true for both linear and angular momentum. This principle is crucial in understanding various physical phenomena from the collision of particles at the atomic level to the motion of celestial bodies. Implications of conservation of momentum Closed systems For the conservation of momentum to apply, the system must be closed, meaning no external forces are acting on it. In real-world situations, this is often approximated by considering the forces to be negligible. Collisions and explosions In collisions, elastic or unelastic, or explosions, the total momentum before the event is equal to the total momentum after the event. This principle allows us to predict the outcome of such events like the velocities of colliding cars or billiard balls. Applications Conservation of momentum is widely used in various fields such as astrophysics, mechanics and engineering. For example, it explains why a gun recoils when fired or how rockets achieve propulsion in space. Elastic versus unelastic collisions Elastic collision, both momentum and kinetic energy are conserved. This is, this is often idealized as objects bounce off each other without any loss of energy. Unelastic collision, momentum is conserved but kinetic energy is not. 
This typically involves objects sticking together post-collision, like a clay ball hitting and sticking to a wall. In summary, momentum is a measure of the quantity of motion of an object and is conserved in isolated systems, a principle which plays a crucial role in understanding and predicting the behavior of physical systems. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.